Hey, Aaron Rabinowitz here for Red Giant, and I wanted to show you some cool technology that we came across during the pre-production for the film that I've been working on. Now, we ended up not using this technology, but not because it's not super awesome and super useful. It just didn't fit in with what we were trying to do. But ultimately, it is a cool technology that I hope to get the opportunity to work with at some point in the future. So I'm wearing this gray material on my chest right now, this piece of tape. It's called Chromat Tape from a company called Reflect Media. And you can also see from the video I'm showing you here that I've got a ring light on my camera. It casts either a blue glow or a green glow, right? Now, the deal with it is, is that that light is beamed from the camera at the material and it is reflected directly back at the camera. So if we look here, I've got this nice blue light going on, uh, going on, the, on the ring light and it is reflecting right back there at the camera. But if you look at this other camera that I've got on the side, it's just my iPhone, sorry for the quality of it, that video, you can see that it's gray. It is not reflecting towards that camera. It only reflects back at the source. Now the reason that matters is because if you've got studio lights that are coming from different sides, you don't want that light being reflected back towards the camera. You only want the blue or the green, which you might use for a blue screen or a green screen. You might use this tape to cover up like a light stand or some other piece of, or bits and pieces of things that are kind of getting in the shot that you need to ultimately key out. But check this out. So they've got this, uh, this, this chromat material. It can be either blue or it can be green based on the controls that I set here. You can uh, see this, not too complicated. There's a blue light, there's a green light, uh, and there's power for how intense you want that power to be. So I'm gonna just switch it back to blue and I'm going to, uh, you can lower it out until there's nothing. You can also crank it up. Obviously, the bluer you go, the brighter you go, you're going to need to compensate with that, uh, with lights to keep your subject from turning that blue as well. I'm very close to this ring light. The place where I film this stuff is I'm maybe like four feet away from the camera. Generally, you'd be further away and that backdrop would be even further away. But you can see if this material, even far back, even the further back I go, it still creates a nice blue light or a green one. So pretty cool. And I mean, like I'm literally, I mean, I'm touching this thing. I'm, I have my hands on it. I'm looking at the monitor and you cannot see a shadow on this, which makes it so easy to key. Anyway, I hope that you guys find that interesting and maybe you can check out the company because uh, they've been really awesome to work with, even though, again, we couldn't use it. Uh, but I am absolutely going to find an opportunity to try this stuff out in another project. Once again, I'm Aaron Rabinowitz for Red Giant. I'll see you soon.